Well, you know, I just realized like your first name's almost like the same lettering and stuff. Yeah. It's like, wow. <laughs> That's probably why you guys make a great team and congratulations. What is this? Uh this is the fifth year for the series. You guys are back as hosts. How does it feel to have the yummiest show on the planet? And I'll let you start. It's incredible. <laughs> Our workplace is a glorified bakery with the best people. It's awesome. Yeah, that's what it really is all about. It's like, you know, great baking, you know, skills. But Alan, also great people, great Canadians, and really uh, a feel-good time in hard times as we're going through right now. Yeah, the show is that, you know, we always say this, it's a warm hug and a very just like, I know, very uncertain time. And it, it does kind of, you know, ring up different emotions and happiness. And it's just super nice to be around people who are so positive. And it's, yeah, you know, also we get to eat sweet treats. So it's a, it's a fun thing. So I was, bold. I'm going to hold back on my question because I'm going to ask that later on. But, um, Ed, I want to jump over to you. But for folks who've never seen the series, what is it about? The Great Canadian Baking Show is a show that takes amateur bakers from all across Canada and uh, puts them in an environment where they have to compete against themselves, not each other, but themselves, because the tent is not a kitchen. It's certainly not their own home kitchen that they're used to baking in. And um, if you're a fan of the show or if you've seen any part of the show, you will see that a lot of the bakers help each other. So it's it's a competition, but it is not about who beats who, but how what's the best that you can do. But That's Alan, we but Alan, we still have judges, though, right? We do have judges. We have uh, the amazing, beautiful Dyson and Kylie Canale, both wonderful people. And they're there to help the bakers. They're there, you know, each time, even though if they're critiquing their bakes, they're still giving them advice on how to kind of improve things. And then you can actually see them, you know, learn those things. And then the next bake come forward, they're like, you know what? I saw last time what you said, I'm going to implement that. So it's, it's, it's just, it's just nice to kind of hang out with the, you know, the entire gang and uh, also with the bakers. It's just, it's just a good time. And, you know, this show, it's one of my mom's favorites. She loves cooking shows. This is one of her favorites. She does watch it. And she watches all the other versions, too, from around the world also. Why do you think this show is so popular? It's so comforting, and especially in the light of the last 19 months. I think so many of us are starved for just kindness and uh, comfort. And it's baking. It's the thing that you remember uh, from your childhood like everyone's got a memory of like a birthday cake or their favorite cookies or like a beautiful piece of bread that they had and so I think there's something just very comforting and I think that's why like I know for me I am uh, I look around in the world and I'm like I don't know <laughs> this is I don't know if I like this place but then we can turn to our televisions we can turn to Netflix and turn to CBC Gem and go, oh, yeah, there is humanity out there and it is a nice place. <laughs> Ellen, what has been your sort of favorite parts in, in watching these folks uh, working together and creating such great uh, uh, baking, you know, with breads, desserts, all this stuff? What's your favorite, like being a host and I'm trying to spit it out. <laughs> Has there ever been like uh, a segment or something you just went, wow, this is amazing. Watching something go from scratch to Mwah! can't wait to chow down. On it. <laughs> yeah. Anytime you can talk to somebody about like something they're like truly, truly passionate about, it's always a fun ride. And you get to like ask questions about certain things that, you know, that you could tell, you could tell that they really want to talk to you about and just to kind of like hear them and learn and like, oh, that's going to sound really good when you finish it. Like, I'm going to check back in and kind of see what's going on here. And yeah, you get to talk to these people about the thing that they really, truly adore. And it's a great time because they are so passionate about it that you kind of get like a contact passion from it too. You're like, oh, wow. But then you know, they still don't bake. But it's, it's still great to kind of hear people talk so just like they about something they like truly, truly love. And then that's the other thing too. We get to learn about these bakers too, about their stories. Yeah. And there is no show without those bakers, right? It would just be an empty tent with me and Alan yelling and Bruno and Kyle being like, who invited them? <laughs> but it's really important because the bakes that they make, that's what the show is about, right? They're mm -hmm. baked goods. They almost always come with a story and 
their bakes were almost always inspired by family, friends, loved ones. And so you want to honor that. You want to honor their stories and their bakes. And you don't honor their bakes without getting into their stories. And you'll find that uh, The Baking Show does a really great job of finding incredibly wonderful people. And they deserve to be highlighted. And Alan, I was going to ask that too. How do they find these great folks? Um, I think over like they have a uh, submit a package and then they have zoom interviews and they meet these people and they kind of talk to them, get a sense of who they are. And yeah, the producer do a really, really good job. Cause it's also hard to kind of like test these people's bakes, like, you know, nationally from all different parts of Canada. And the fact that they had these, these past two seasons, like just, you know, handpick some of the sweetest, sweetest, you know, no pun intended uh, people uh, to come out here and, you know, represent their hometown and their family. And it's, it's, it's just been great that they, uh, the judges have, or the, the producers have done such a good job in bringing them in. Okay. Now this is for both of you though. What is it like to host this watching the foods being created, smelling the foods, wanting to turn yourself back into a five-year-old to be able to sneak <laughs> over and lick the bowl or just, you know, snatch it. Like, what is it like to have willpower to hold back? Until the end. What is that like? And this is for both of you. Ooh, I don't think I have I the willpower. Yeah, no, neither of us. <laughs> anytime we're allowed on the floor and anytime there's already sort of something half baked or like um, uh, a chocolate or a jam, we're like, oh, that looks nice. Tell me about mm. that. Mm, it looks delicious. And almost always the baker is like, would you like to try? <laughs> and we're like, oh, if it's not a bother. <laughs> So we don't we don't control ourselves. We 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 are little garbage monsters. Yeah, just little raccoons waiting for them to go. Hey, I'm like, can I have that? Yeah, and just eat it. Okay. The other thing I want to find out too, and for both of you, uh, we're gonna get a little bit of the in-house secret here. Mm. So much is being made. What happens after the cameras go off and you have all of these great baked goods? What happens? But You're like, not gonna like, tell. <laughs> well, you know, we usually after yeah, after it's kind of like we have to go to like lunch or something like that we usually like you know sneak mm -hmm. around and pull different things from different people and make a little to go box for ourselves and try to eat as many sweet things as we possibly can before we eat our lunches. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Me and Alan didn't want to answer because we didn't want to reveal our secret. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm like, and would you like to? <laughs> a lot of it is honestly us in the back, like hanging uh, yeah. back a little bit uh, before we have to exit the tent to be like, oh, I wonder what that is. And just like slip it in a pocket or be like, Alan, take this and run. <laughs> So we do get a taste and we try to sneak away as much as we can, but don't tell anybody. Yeah. Are you kidding? Look, if I was part of that show, I'd have Tupperware all in my back trunk, uh -huh. backed actually... up to the tent. <laughs> I'm going to start doing that next season if possible. This is my own oh, personal like monogram Tupperware. Just to be like, eh, it's okay. It's a cake uh, lick. I got the cake one too. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can, uh, I can already like, mm, cannot wait. So Folks. Thank you so much for this interview. Looking forward to this new season. It sounds, like I said, yummy, tasty, fun, but most of all, with a whole lot of baking love, and that's definitely what we need. Congratulations on hosting. Looking forward to this other season, and looking forward to talking both of you again for the next season. Thank you.